Many times a guy leaves a woman because he's emotionally immature, avoidant, or unwilling to embrace responsibility. But have you stopped to think why intelligent and conscious men who are willing to put in the work reach a point of no return and say, I'm out? In this video, I'm going to reveal seven subtle and not obvious decisions great guys silently make before leaving a woman they love. I said, I'm the first one to call out guys when they show up in less than awesome ways with women. When guys are ghosting, when guys are leading strongly with sex, when guys are not taking the initiative to ask a woman out and court her in a way that feels exciting for her. I'll call it out a hundred times. And if you watch any of the hundreds of videos I have, I've done it significant times. Now, this video is slightly different because not all guys who leave women are bad guys or a-holes. Some guys are intelligent, smart, conscious, and they still, from a very worthy perspective and position, say, this no longer works for me. So because I consider you an intelligent human being, somebody who's taking the time out of her busy schedule to learn how to show up better in relationships, because I consider my audience women who understand that it's not just the technique, but it's also the wholehearted, wholesome self that creates something magical in a relationship. I want to give you some tools right now, and I want to share with you a little bit of the insight of what guys who are intelligent and worthy think and make decisions on that sometimes the combination of these decisions, sometimes the intensity, sometimes the frequency, all of the above, make a guy reach a point where he's no longer willing to put in more work and he said, I'm out. I would never want that to happen to you, so I'd like for you to think about this video in two different terms. A, what you've done in the past in your own relationships, and B, what you can do in the future to make sure that this does not happen to you. The first silent decision that a guy will make that will get him to want to be out of a relationship is no longer feeling desired. Out of all the ones that I'm sharing with you right now, this one is going to be one of the most visceral ones. Why? It's just to let you know, it's not about the sex. Even though sex is very important to men, even though many men have a higher sex drive than many women, I'm not saying all, if he no longer feels like there's a desire from you, there's a part of him that is no longer validated. There's a part of him that feels he's no longer doing it for you. There's a part of him that feels less about himself. So this could be maybe there's a vast change in hormones. Maybe there is a change in the family dynamic. Maybe there's two or three children in the mix right now, and then things get challenging. So I'm not talking about guys having less frequency of sex, or are you guys doing it once a week versus five times a week? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when he feels like sex to you is a chore. When he initiates and consistently gets shut down or gets the feeling that you're kind of appeasing him, but you're no longer enjoying it. Second, silent decision that will make a guy want to end a relationship and leave a woman he loves is when he knows that you're not in charge of your happiness. When a man feels that through time, you are not owning up to your share of the deal, you're not taking upon yourself to figure out what makes you happy what makes you feel fulfilled, what makes you feel alive. And then you want to get the happiness and the joy and the spark of life from the relationship. And the relationship means him to him. Then without you pulling in the work, then it gets really heavy for him. Because no matter how much he does, it will never be enough to satisfy someone who's not stepping into and figuring out what makes her feel happy and fulfilled, whether it's connection with friendships, whether it's meaning through work, whether it's a spiritual connection to something greater than herself, whether it's figuring out hobbies that make her feel super sparky in her life. When that's not taking place, then the bulk of the responsibility is going to fall on him and he'll carry the weight for a while, but eventually he'll feel, this is too much for me to carry. Third silent decision that a guy will make that will make him want to end things with a woman he loves is the feeling of consistently being disrespected. Now, men and women obviously both want to be respected. Here's the challenging thing with men. And I'm talking from being the perspective of being a man. We have been socialized throughout many, many, many decades or maybe centuries to value honor and value what it really means to be respected by others, including other men. So because this is something so ingrained in us, I'm not saying this can't be changed, but I'm saying this is the way things are. Call it insecurity, call it ego, call it biology call it socialization, or all of the above. Men need to feel respected. And here's some of the ways in which men feel consistently disrespected at times. It's just like a rock that you're chipping out time and time again. 
at one point, that rock is going to break. And that means when she is constantly putting him down and making fun of him in front of other people, call it his friends, anything that has to do with him in public is even more sensitive because he feels even more shameful because in theory, he should be respected. So the more you take certain jabs at him in public, the more you make fun of him, even to have fun yourself by putting him down, the more you cut him off in conversations the more you talk down at him because you're a woman, understand the vast universe of emotions and he doesn't. He might be a really emotionally intelligent man and get it. So this passive aggressiveness, for example, when instead of expressing what you want, you give him the silent treatment or you constantly nag at him in a way that is punchy and sideways. Again, a few times, he's probably going to do that. You're going to do that. It's the nature of being in a relationship, even if it's a conscious one. But when this is the nature of how things happen, there's going to be a point in which his honor, if you want to call it that, or insecurity is going to say, this no longer works for me. Fourth silent decision that will make a guy leave a woman he loves is I can no longer add value to her life. What does that mean? That means that he is unable to help you for two reasons. One, because you are so independent and you've told yourself so frequently that if you need help, if you're vulnerable, if you're open, that means you're needy. And here he's trying to do things to be your hero in some way, but not being able to, being met with no thanks, I'm out, I'm done, I'm fully capable of doing everything and not feeling needed. That's one of the reasons why it happens. Another reason why it might happen is because he's doing it, but maybe he's not getting the validation he needs from you. Maybe he's trying to connect with you and add value to your life, but you kind of take it for granted. Now, before I share my last three silent decisions that you do not want to miss, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you are not fully aware of the root cause why you're still single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every continent, every walk of life, every kind of love challenge you can imagine to go from, I don't have what I want and I'm struggling to finally connecting with an amazing guy and having a relationship, whether it's marriage or a partnership that stands the test of time. And I've put together a quiz with all that wisdom and knowledge that can help you to understand the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions. And besides the answer to the elusive question, why you're still single, you'll also get a custom report. It's going to share with you based on your specific blind spot. What's the number one action you can take starting today to attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Fifth silent decision that will make a guy leave a woman he loves is when her complaint the praise ratio is off kilter. We all have challenges. We all have areas of improvement. But when he's hearing what he's doing wrong more frequently than what he's doing right, and it's not because he's doing more wrong things than right ones, just because that's the nature of things. We tend to react to the things that don't work much more than things that are actually working for us. Or because the way in which you're sharing things is not necessarily a conscious communication that will allow him to want to step up to the plate, but basically complaining. I've connected with human beings through my work whose love language is complaint. They think that complaining is the same thing as asking for a request. So I want to make a huge difference here. There's A, making a request, B, making a complaint. Complaint, defensiveness. Complaint, I didn't do it. Complaint is like, oh, she's doing this again. Request is, okay. Maybe I can do this differently for you. It's, it's not you're wrong, Is I want this differently. This would help me if you change your angle. It would help me if you change your tone. It would help me if you change the frequency at which you contact me versus you never contact me and I hate it. <laughs> Number six, her identity of me vastly differs from my own. And this can happen for a variety of reasons, right? It's not just when you have a difference of opinion, but when you consistently, in anger, or in fear or in anxiety, attack his identity and his character instead of recognizing the difference between character and behavior. It's not you were late, it's you're lazy. It's not you made a mistake, but you don't care about me and you're careless. When you confuse behavior with identity, the guy's gonna take it personally. When that's the consistent expression of you towards him, then he's going to reach a point where he says, well, this is who I think I am. And this is who you think I am. The gap is so huge that I don't know what we're doing together. Last one that I'll share, not the last one in the real world, but the last one I have time to share today is no matter how I try, it's never enough and she'll never be happy. 
And again, this may be a catch-all be-all after multiple attempts of doing things differently. When there's a off-kilter ratio of complaints versus praise, right? He doesn't get enough praise. He doesn't feel desired. He feels like he can't add value to your life. He feels like on top of those things, you're not owning up to your happiness. And he reaches a point where no matter how hard he tries, it's never enough and you're not happy. And when he reaches that point, that is the point of no return. If you're guilty of any of this, because you're a human being, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just an area of opportunity for you to make a small shift in the way you express yourself, in the way you validate yourself, in the way you look at things, in the way you communicate, in the way you ask for what you're looking for. That might land you a far superior experience where a guy is not just happy, but consistently willing to do more to make your life better. Because that's what we all want inside. We want to make your life better if it's inside of us to do it. Not all guys want to do it, but there's going to be guys that you connect with who are great. And if any of these things take place consistently, you might jeopardize the relationship. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, it would mean the world to me because this is how I can grow rich more women. If you click like and subscribe, write to me in a comment below anything you found useful about this video. And if you want to continue learning, how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.